Welcome to this very small unboxing of Humankind. Uh, it is a really small box, it's actually just the standard DVD case. It's not even a steel case, it was advertised as a steel case, but it is paper as you can tell. We have a little bit of a nudge here where some of the color went away, but it looks kind of like a cloud if you don't look too closely, so it's fine. I still wanted to show this off because for how small it is and that it's not even like a collector's edition or anything, they included something really fun. This is a 4X game in the vein of Civilization, for example, and a direct competitor for it by Sega published and made by Amplitude Studios, recently released. So let's check out why I think that this has actually some merit in looking at. First of all, it has quite nice artwork. It has a fairly extensive little war tableau here, uh, displaying various epochs that you were supposedly going to play through. Um, I mean, of course, you have war elephants, you have legionnaires and uh, hussars from later than the legionnaires. <laughs> you have some uh, World War II stuff going on here, some modern tanks, some planes from World War I, and all kinds of things. So you play your civilization, basically, or uh, your uh, branch of the humankind throughout the ages. So what I really enjoyed when I looked at this first, it comes with this little coin here. And I'll try and show this off proper. Up here it says, no more. And here says one more. So <laughs> I thought this was quite funny because these games are notorious for being something where you get into a groove and you just want to play another turn and another turn and another turn. And the developers deemed it appropriate to give you this very nice coin, <laughs> which you then I assume you can flip. So uh, the coin will decide for you whether or not you're going to have one more turn or no more turn. <laughs> I love this. Just immediately upon opening this, um, I fell in love with the whole concept and the idea and the creative minds behind it because just this coin <laughs> is already a good sign for these people understanding the crowd they're dealing with and the type of game they're dealing with. Beside that, we have this very large, and I don't think I can actually properly show it off, inlay with the technology and some other trees. All of this is, of course, in German because, well, I live in Germany and even though I would prefer things in English, you don't often get a choice when it comes to games. Uh, beside these two more gimmicky items that you get, you, of course, actually have a disc. Um, this comes with a Steam key, so you can just activate it on, on Steam. It's on the back of this quick start guide, which actually doesn't really give any information at all, all that much, uh, but it's nice to have a disc option. Still, I don't even have an optical drive. Let's just uh, quickly take out all these things here and have another quick look at the very formidable artwork in here. We have a archer on horseback. We have some Arbor over here, we have some modern cityscape in the back and the more antiquity based uh, cityscape in the front and over here we have some Zulu I assume, might be a different African warrior tribe, uh, some Aztecs or whatever and that's really, I like it. This is a really really nice uh, case even though it is not as advertised a steelbook case. And that's really all I wanted to show. Thank you very much for watching. I will be potentially playing some of this on the channel. Um, I hope you will enjoy and stick around. Uh, how do they say? Like and subscribe. I'm getting too old for this stuff. See you around. Bye bye.